Hello everyone, it's Dawn Marie here. I wanted to take a couple minutes and share something with you. Uh, Amy Love on YouTube here is having a birthday challenge giveaway. And so I wanted to participate in this. And if you go over to Amy's channel, I will link it down below. You'll find all the details to her challenge and you'll see why I wanted to participate and <clears throat> everything else. So... <clears throat> as soon as I heard that Amy was having a little shabby ornament challenge, I knew I wanted to participate. Um, I really like Amy's style and <clears throat> the things that she does. Um, very similar to my taste. I like the same kinds of colors and the same types of things. So I knew I was going to love her first digital. She's decided she's going to do digital art, okay? So she's released her first piece. And again, go over to her channel, which is linked below. If you're not familiar with Amy, I don't know who's not. But uh, very excited for her. And so I knew when I heard that she wanted to have the ornament challenge, I wanted to participate. And I was trying to come up with an idea. But then a couple days later, when she released her digital art, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to somehow incorporate that piece of digital art into the ornaments to kind of roll it all into one for her. And so I'm going to show you what's left of the piece of paper. This is what's left of the uh, digital art that I printed out. It's one big sheet. And it's a snippet fabric, similar to like when you do a snippet roll. But what she's done is she's cut all these little pieces of some of her favorite fabrics and then she's zigzagged them all together to, to make one big piece of fabric. So it's a really cute digital. So go over and check that out. And so I will show you what I did. So I started with some felt, cut out a nice pink heart. And then I took her digital and I cut a paper heart, just a little smaller. And I zigzagged the paper right onto the felt to kind of go with her zigzag that she did on her digital. Um, and then there are just some little bridal appliques and that little shabby flower we're familiar with, some little more appliques. Um, this piece of sari ribbon, a little button, some stickles. I didn't want to cover up <clears throat> the heart too much. Excuse me. <clears throat> I didn't want to cover up the heart too much and cover up her digital, okay? So I hope I kind of balanced it out just right. Now, at the bottom, I used an earring. And on this particular one, oh, I'm trying to get these little dangles to cooperate here. There's little pink beads. Okay. And then on the back, she asked us to put our name and where we're from. So my YouTube name, and I'm from Wisconsin. Those of you that know me know that. Um, way down southeastern tip, actually between Milwaukee and Chicago. So it works out great for me if I wanna to go to the big, big city uh, close by. All right, so just some more little doilies and appliques and little things like that. And I made three, and when you watch her video, you'll see why there are three. This one has the little pearl cluster at the bottom. They're all very similar. Basically the difference is the little dangle at the bottom. And then this last one here Okay, so I will post this video um, today so that you guys can all have time to jump on over to her channel and see what's going on with her challenge if you'd like to participate. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed making these. They were, were, as they say, right up my alley. This is the type of thing I like to do. And when I can squeeze it in between my sails, I'm even happier. All right. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for all your support, everyone.